Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing in Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is our future selves. Um, messages from our future selves. What does our future self want us to know? A little bit of a prediction read. Okay, so um, take a moment and uh, take a deep breath with me so I can send out some healing. Sorry, it's my first day back from having, uh, you know, four days off from doing readings. I'm a little discombobulated. But um, anyway, pick the pile you are most drawn to here. We have pile one with Jade, pile two with Lapis Lazuli, pile three with Pyrite, and pile four with uh, Ruby and Zozite. So... Uh, whatever one you're most drawn to, they're in the raw forms. Um, they're interesting. But pick the pile you are most drawn to, and we'll see what when your future self is coming to you and what they, they want to tell you. All right, pile one. i got to get my act together here. <laughs> Let's pull you a month. What month does your person want to come to you from? October. All right. So about six months from now, what, what, um, does your future self have to say for you, say to you, <laughs> uh, for, you know, in about six months, what can you expect? So let's see. Two of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, The Emperor. All right. So I think this is a really powerful time for you. You have a decision to make. And this decision is about what's n something new coming in. Do you do you take your do you follow the new path or do you uh, stick with the old? So I think this is a very important decision. Do you keep doing what you're doing? Do you let it go and do something else? You're still you're still afraid to let go of the past, let go of what you've been holding on to. It's something that's comfortable to you, something that uh, you don't really want to walk away from or you don't want to lose out on. But there is something new here presenting itself. So this could be, it is an Ace of Cups, so it could be a new love interest, right? So you have to make the decision. Are you ready for love? Are you ready to pursue this um, and make it a deeper connection? Or are you still holding on to something or somebody from the past. The Queen of Wands tells me, I think that you're getting ready to uh, embark on a new journey here. Like the Queen of Wands is somebody who is just excited and magical and just ready to take on the world. So I really do think that something is motivating you. So I, I do think it could be a new love connection here for those of you who that are that are single but if you're not single it's any new love can be absolutely anything a new job that you really love or a new new hobby that you take on a new passion project i mean it could be pretty much anything but i really do feel like you're going to get excited about it and you're going to step into your emperor role where you know what i need to do this for me i need to to make these decisions for me so you're gonna like step into your power a little bit here and really like kind of feel like you're in control of your life so october is a good time here it looks like that that things are going to start like say you've been like just skating along you know or floating not really uh, advancing or expanding. And I just feel like, you know, come this fall, it's going to be a time of, you know what, I, I can't just float by anymore. I got to take charge. I got to do something here. I got to make my life better or I got to, I got to like expand in some way. Like I feel growth here. Like I feel like you want to grow. You want to do something more. So I think that's what's happening for you in October. But let's get some more cards and see. Victory in some endeavor. Well, there you go. So we'll be successful in what we decide to do. And an announcement. Uh, if 
this is new love, you know, there could be an announcement. You know, making plans together, maybe making plans to to move in with each other or to get engaged or to something. Um, but yeah, it's going to feel like a win for you come October. And all this could be starting before between now and October. Things could start that like all these things could start to be taking place. Um, like you could meet somebody before October that, you know, by October you've made the decision. This is the person you want to be with and and you're going to move forward. Then you're going to get excited about what your new life could look like and things like that. Um, if that's the situation. But it looks like good things, all good things here. Focus upon divine and perfect health. God and Archangel Michael, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect, perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being. So perfect health, that's mind, body, and spirit, right? That's, that's all, everything. So we want to focus on... Um, all, like all is right with us you know we feel good we we uh, our our mental state is, is in pretty healthy you know all those good things are spiritual like we're ready to expand here so I just think that it's again telling you that it's a good time for you this fall this fall is going to be like you're going to be in your element like it's your time to shine kind of thing like everything's going to be good everything's going to be going well Yamoha, the goddess of all that flows, she is my African mermaid. I am an ocean of creative energy. I give birth to what exists within me. Here you go. Stepping into your power. That's what she's saying. Like, it's time for you to, to really, like, expand in some way. Do Go after your passion. What What is it that you want? Is it somebody, a particular type of relationship that you want like you want to find somebody to get married and settle down with or do you want to start a business and have it grow like what is it that you want what is this new love for you right it's saying that you're just ready to take charge to be in control to be high on life actually it's a good thing you've got the love codependency and boundaries all right so again this is reminding me of this four swords i mean four pentacles here holding on hold something's holding you back so i think this is, again is saying beware that you have this tendency to be codependent or you you know or to um not have boundaries so this is saying step into your power and remind people of who you are and what you're capable of you don't need to be codependent on anyone. You could do this yourself. So step out of your comfort zone and go after your dreams. Make your magic happen. All right. So I think that's just a reminder to yourself of or a reminder that you are strong. You are capable. You are amazing. Just feel it. Stand your ground. Again, I don't think anybody's going to be knocking you down here. I think that stand your ground is like, again, stand up for yourself. Go after your dreams. Go after what you want. Like, like be in control here. Like, make it happen. Make things happen for yourself. Don't depend on anybody else to do it for you. Like, take control here. Step into that power of yours. And I think things are going to work out beautifully. Ascending. Yeah, here we go. Learning, expansion, new phase. That's what preparing for union. So exactly what I would, I'm feeling from you. Like you want more. You want you want to expand. You want to grow. I felt growth. Exactly what this is saying. Like you're leveling up in some way. You are growing. And uh, you're expanding, co-creating something here. It's, it's a good feeling here. You're going to be in a really good place. Potential. Think big. Think big. There you go. Like, again, don't, 
don't limit yourself. Don't hold yourself back. Don't worry about the codependency. Break free from that. Okay. You have think big and go for it because you're, you're, you're embodying both of these cards, the queen of wands and the emperor. You're going to embody that energy. That's powerful energy. That's like, let's go. It's your time to shine. You can make things happen now. So there you go. Like, again, think big. Don't think small. Okay. Look what we got. Two of water. Two of cups. So new love. You could be finding a soulmate here. The love of your life. Absolutely for those of you who are single. Uh, that is that soul connection here. Let's, let's see. Let's read a little bit from this book. Two of Water represents a relationship that has moved beyond infatuation and physical attraction to one that is built upon the foundation of deeper mutual love, respect, trust, or shared interests. The symbol, it symbolizes a meaning of the mind and heart that is free of the desire to possess or control. It's also a time of forgiveness and reconciliation. Mm. If there's been a rift between friends or lovers, now's the time to let go of the hurt. Maybe let go of the let go of something here, right? Put aside judgment and blame. So the two of water invites you to communicate, to forgive, or apologize. But it's really the unification of two hearts and minds. You know, the purpose of becoming one with each other. So it does really ultimately symbolize a, 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 an intimate relationship. So that intimate relationship could be between you and your higher self. You know, a meeting of the minds here where you guys come together, you and your higher self and say, all right, it's time. Let's, let's make some magic happen here. Let's go for it. Or it could be with you and somebody else, you know, a new relationship here, just, uh, Really loving somebody and expanding and growing here. So either way, it's a beautiful connection. So I really think that this coming fall, you are going to be in a beautiful place. A beautiful place, a beautiful, healthy place. I think you're going to be breaking free from some codependency. All right, so let's, uh, let's get you a few charms. And Jade, Jade is always um, a stone to wear to attract love. So I I do love that Jade is is the stone for you. Now, I just randomly pick stones for my piles, whatever I'm drawn to that day. And I was drawn to the Jade for this pile, and that's amazing. Yeah, you're going to have lots of smiles, lots of reasons to smile. Look how happy you are. That's a, the big happy face, right? You've got the chakra stone, so that means like everything's in alignment. It's all going to be in alignment. Your energy is going to be flowing free. You're going to be in your power. So it is time to shine. It is time to step up, to level up, to grow, to expand. Don't let anything hold you back, right? This is a clip. The clip is like holding you to something. Break free of any codependency issues you might have. And if it's time for, to fix something with somebody, it's time to, you know, maybe apologize or fix something. It's, you know, you got the wrench, like it's fixable. You have the cat, trust your intuition, right? And the elephant, same message. You know, your intuition is going to be strong. You're going to be knowing what to do. Just have that eye of the tiger. Be strong, be brave, go after what you want. And uh, it's funny because we have April and December. So an October falls between that time, right? And I said it's, this could be starting to happen between now and October. So I think they're just giving you those dates. Maybe they're expanding it a little bit further for you. So come April, uh, I would start to really like break free from any codependency issues you have. Really start working on that. Really start, you know, like finding your confidence, get there, start doing things for yourself, right? And by December, I think you're going to be in a beautiful energy. 
All right, Pile One, that is what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile Two. If you chose Lapis, then this one's going to be your reading. Um, yeah, getting my act together again. Start. It's been a couple days. I feel like I've been gone for months <laughs> when I don't read every day. But uh, bear with me, but here we go. Let's find your month here. July. All right, so yeah, three, four months away from now, right? March, April, May, June, July. Yeah, four months from now, we've got uh, your energy, what your future self wants you to know by the summer. Chariot. Hermit, Ace of Wands, Four of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. Look, we got fire, like fast, slow, fast, slow, and medium. <laughs> a little bit slow, but a little bit faster than these two. Anyway, um, I don't know if any of that made sense to you, but it was just something I, I just saw right away. I, I think that you might have been in, you're in hermit mood now. Maybe you're in some kind of a timeout now. And I kind of feel like it's self-imposed. Um, maybe things are, you're like you're thinking about things, trying to figure out what direction you want to take your life, what direction you want to take your relationships. Like if, if you don't have relationships, maybe you've just been, you pulled back your energy and you're like, you know what? I can't deal with anybody right now. I just have to figure my own stuff out. I just kind of feel like you've been in this time out period. Now, that's not to say that you're lonely or sad or miserable. I just kind of feel like you're looking for answers right now. But I feel like come July, it's going to be time to get out of that. There's going to be something that sparks your... I actually feel like it's coming before July. I kind of feel like it's coming around the end of May. Um, I don't know why, but... I just get these feelings sometimes. I have no idea why I feel like the end of May. But anyway, I feel like there's going to be something that's really ignites you. You're like, you know what? I'm tired of being in hermit mood. I'm, I need to get out there. I need to put myself out there. I need some fun. I need some excitement. And then you're going to have some kind of really new beginning here. It could be a change of jobs, something that's going to make you really happy and successful and Something that's going to like light you up and inspire you and motivate you. And that is a real possibility here with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. But it doesn't have to be. I mean, it could, I mean, you could be like starting a new business here, a new business venture. But there's something here that's going to, like you're going to uh, put some fast moving energy. It's going to, I feel like it might even be like a little bit of impulsive like you're going to get this idea and you're like, oh, I got to act on that now. And you're going to act upon it. Like you're not going to wait. You're not going to think about it. I think you're going to come out of that hermit mood. I think you're ready. So I feel like there's some kind of interesting stuff happening um, for you. But let, let's get some more cards. Let's see. I just feel like you're learning a lot about yourself right now. And I think that's a really good thing. Spiritual love. All right, so that's soulmate energy, right? That's love from the other side. So that means either somebody's higher self is saying we need to be together and the two of you, your two higher selves are working together to make this happen. Or it could be a loved one that has crossed over or your spirit guides that are saying, you know what, we need to, we need to bring love to this person and uh, they're helping you figure it out. But either way, it's a soul connection coming in. Or soul help. In need of help, assistance, or guidance. There you go. I think the other side is helping you here. I think they're going to help pull you out of this hermit mode. I think they're going to bring you a new love interest, it feels like. I, I feel something with money, too. I mean, I know that Ace of Pentacles doesn't always have to be about money, but I kind of feel like it's something about money, too. I kind of feel like you might be starting a side business for some reason. Like, you have a job, but you might be taking on something else. 
like you maybe you're starting to make things and then you're going to sell them on you know one of the sites where you can sell your handmade stuff i don't know there's something here that's going to i think there's just something new here starting and it's it's going to make you happy i don't know that's let's go honor and trust your feelings Thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. So, again, uh, you're going to get this feeling like it's, uh, for me, it feels like it's a restless feeling. Like, I've got to, I've got to change my life or I've got to do something different. I can't be in hermit mode anymore. I, I you know, maybe I don't have all the answers, but I got to do something. I got to make a move. So I kind of feel like it's that kind of energy, like you're ready, you're restless, you're going to start something new. And they're saying trust that. You're having those feelings for a reason. Queen Esther, the morning star. My ego is in service of my soul, and I trust my soul's divine timing. So again, uh, it's like, it's okay, the time out was needed, it was necessary you need you might have needed a break you might have needed to be recharged you might have needed to get some answers but everything happens in divine timing and you're trusting it and you're believing it and you're th saying okay thank you like uh, you're not going to beat yourself up for being in hermit mode you're like no i needed that time but now it's time to come out of it The blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation and integration time. This is exactly what I was feeling. This makes a lot of sense now. And look, you got the flame there and the flame here. Spontaneous awakening, like, like an epiphany, like that light bulb moment. Something's going to happen here where you're going to have that, that moment of clarity and you're going to be like yep that's what i need to do and that's what motivates you and that's what's going to happen here like you're going to start taking some action because you finally got this clarity within yourself so that's exactly the blue flame is going to come and uh awaken your senses or uh give you that motivation and that energy to to do something exciting. Parenting and children. Could some of you be considering having a child, maybe? Um, or could somebody have an issue with their parent here? Maybe their parent needs you. Maybe your parent needs you. Uh, so either your children need you or your parents need you at this time in July, in the summer. So you're either going to be helping them out in some way or, I don't know. I don't know. You'll just have to wait and see what that, what, how that plays out. There's something here. And when by children, it could be your unborn children. Like you might be getting pregnant, but if you have children, maybe there, there's a, some kind of a, a need with your child or your parent or your parent. All right, let's see. Cupid's arrow. I love this. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. All right, so Cupid's getting ready to strike, shoot his arrow. So what's it going to be? Are you going to find a new love that excites you, that makes you want to do new things with them and, and really expand and level up? Are they bringing you new love? I think so. I think so. But, you know, Cupid usually shoots, and, you know, Cupid's usually romantic, but every once in a while it could be other things. Hmm. Children again. Know that your children are protected, both born and unborn. Okay. So if, uh, Something, something might be going on with your children. A child could be coming into this world. You could be conceiving a child. Or, um, I don't know, there's something with your children. 
it says parenting and children so uh, and then you got children again so we're, there's something about children here come July so let me just tell you this you know we do have free will here and this is the energy of the here and now so by July this energy can change if you want it to so if you are not ready to have children make sure you are taking precautions if uh, children are something that you want then it's a real possibility this uh, you know sometime between now and summer you could be conceiving um, if you already have children just uh, I don't know just like pay attention just like you know I'm not telling you to be worried but just watch just if they need you be there for them that's all okay I'm not feeling anything negative I'm just it, it but those cards come up for a reason all right and if you totally do not want to have children that's okay you do not have to have children <laughs> if that's your choice nobody's gonna be mad at you for it all right the father now you got parenting again right that's interesting the father's coming out <sighs> let's see The father in his ideal form is strong, confident man who, while not believing that the world revolves around him, is very much the center of power within the family union. This kind of reminds me of the king of hearts, right? I mean, king of cups. He represents the family's core strength and unity. He is still, stillness within the storm. Someone who is active in his role of pri provider, protector, teacher, and leader. So... I kind of feel like that you're going to be stepping up into like the father energy, even if you're female. All right. Even if it's mother energy, kind of like somebody who is going to be the provider, the protector, you know, single mom energy, maybe. Huh. But I feel like everything's happy. I kind of feel like this is a happy thing. I, the father for me is a happy card. So, I don't know. I, look, if that's not your message, if you, there's absolutely nothing going on in your world in regards to children, that's okay. You can leave this message here. Okay? Maybe it's not for you. This is a general reading. Maybe this is for somebody else. But that's interesting that, that parenting and children came out several times here. Anyway, let me pull you some charms. Oh, I was going to say, if the seahorse comes out, I'm going to, like, it's definitely something to do with children. And guess what came out? The seahorse. The seahorse is a parental charm for me. The father gives birth. Maybe this has something to do with your father. Is there a rift between your father? Has there been a time out between you and your father? Maybe spirit's bringing you guys back together. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know exactly, but it's interesting. But they want you to wear your crown at this time. So they want you to be, you know, like you do what's right for you. Know, you know, that every move you make is for your highest good. Don't worry about if this is about your father. Don't worry about that. Worry about your children, of course. I'm never going to, I'm a mom. I'm never going to tell you not to worry about your children. But, um... I don't think that it, there's like anything to be scared of when it comes to children. I just think that children might be coming into your life and it could be new children in any form. It doesn't have to be your own biological children. Maybe, you know, just somebody comes into your life that you take under your wing. I, I don't know, but this is like, they're saying you're going to know what the right thing to do is. Just trust yourself. You're in control. You are you have the power. You're wearing the crown. Okay? Just remember that. But your angels are here in full force. Look at all this. They are, they are definitely here. So whatever's happening come July is meant to happen. 
It's happening for a reason. So just keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, so be brave. Have a thick skin, maybe. I don't know. But it's something magnanimous here. That's the whale. That's something huge, something grand, something big. Um, but it's greatness. It's greatness. And we got the fox, too. And the fox is somebody who's very clever, smart, wise, thinks outside the box, like always, always gets its prey, you know, it finds ways to get it. They're, you know, if they're, they're the ones that, you know, if they don't succeed the first time, they'll keep trying. They'll keep coming back for it. They're smart. So uh, there's something about being clever and being brave, maybe having to have a thick skin, maybe um, it might entail some work, but it's something that's going to make you happy, very happy. I don't know, but that's what I got for you, Pile 2. I hope it made sense to you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All those things will help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose the pyrite, then this is your pile. Let's uh, see what happens here. We've got January. All right, so next year, you know, right? We're at the beginning of the next of the new year. So we quite a few months away here, but not not forever. But let's see. Let's just see. The sun. Okay, love that. Good way to start. Sun, justice, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and five of pentacles all right all right good stuff here all right so by the end of the year you're not going to be feeling alone anymore you're finally getting some justice this is some slow moving energy so i feel like this this year 2024 for you is going to be progressive but a little slow right i feel like you're going to be moving slow you're maybe you're figuring things out you're you're, you're taking steps, but you're not rushing them. You're taking baby steps. But I feel like you're getting ready for everything to come into balance, to come into play. And you're trusting your intuition and you're making the moves that uh, you're being guided to make. Right. You might feel a little lonely this this year. Um, you might be doing things on your own. But I think come January, it's going to be the start of a brand new year and a start of a new cycle for you. And I feel like that's when all, like, I feel like all is going to be right in the world. So I think you're preparing. I think this is a year of being prepared. Um, I think like you're planting seeds, you're starting to nurture them, you're starting to grow them. But by January, like you're going to have a whole new world opening up for you. Right. So we can't sk skip steps in life. You know, we have to take baby steps. We have to make sure that we we do things in divine timing and divine order so i feel like that's what this year is going to be like for you like where you're getting ready for something big something much bigger but you have to take these steps in order to prepare for it so i feel like you're getting ready now i think this is an important year for you this is like the preparation for uh something really big and beautiful to come so don't be upset that like things might be a little slow moving or, you know, you might maybe you're not going to find the love of your life just quite yet. But come January, life is going to be good. Life is going to be good. So don't sweat it. OK, just keep your faith. Keep keep doing what you're doing. Go strong because, um, yeah, I think you got something really great coming in for you in the beginning of the year. Honor and respect will come to you. There you go. You're going to be admired. Light heart and carefree time. There you go. I'm telling you, something really, you're going to be really happy. Um, you know, come, come, come next year. The beginning of the year. Fresh start. It feels like it's like everything's starting to happen for you. So I think there's going to be some important moves that happen this year. Like, um, 
I know you're going to get noticed. You're going to get recognized this year. And by next, next year, you're going to be offered this amazing opportunity to have a new career, new business or something. There's, there's like this, whatever's happening this year, it's an important year for you. So, so don't worry if things aren't, if you don't see everything happening, but behind the scenes, like they're helping you prepare for what's to come. The person you're asking about is trustworthy. Oh, so do you have somebody in mind that you want to know if you can trust them? Thank you for helping me have faith so I can open my heart wider in my relationships. I am grateful for your protection, ensuring that only trustworthy people are in my life. So this could be a new relationship coming in for you. Right? That's exciting. Shekmed. The lady, the red lady. I am pure strength. I honor my anger by giving voice to it. All right. So anger is an emotion that we all have. That's a powerful tool. It can be if used correctly. Anger could be a motivator. So maybe there's something that happens this year that really ticks you off, but it motivates you for change to make something better. So that could be like why here we got five pentacles here, why you might be feeling alone or a little lost or a little uh, victim mentality or, or consciousness of lack, you know, not having enough. Like you're going to get angry about it. If that's the case, like if you got passed up for a promotion or something, you're going to get angry about it and you're going to use that anger and you're going to channel it towards something great and make your life better. So if there is something that really ticks you off this coming year, take a look at it. Take a look. What can I do? How could I use this to my benefit? How can I channel this anger to make my life better? That's what's going to happen. Something important is going to happen. There's going to be a major change coming in for you. I'm telling you. There's going to be something that like really upsets you. Like somebody's going to say something nasty about you or or like I said you're not going to get that raise or promotion or somebody's going to tell you you're not good enough and you're going to be like yeah I'm not good enough watch let me show you how good I can be I can't have that I can't do that mm -hmm. watch me I'll do it you're going to channel that anger and it's a good it's a really good thing So just don't go the other way with it because anger's tricky. That's an emotion that's tricky. <laughs> Earth school, life lessons, soul growth, higher learning. You're learning something this year. You're learning something this year that's going to pay off next year. Well, the beginning of the year. It's going to pay off for you. You're growing. You're evolving. You're expanding. It's a beautiful thing. And it's like... Like I said, you have to go through it in order to learn and grow and to expand. So it might be a growing pain, but it's nothing you can't handle and it's nothing to be afraid of. It's going to help you. Miracle healing. Yep. It's saying that, you know, if there is something that makes you angry, you'll heal from it. You'll heal from it. You'll be fine. Because like I said, your your mentality is going to be like, mm -hmm. all right, that's fine. That didn't work out for me. That's fine. That wasn't meant for me because I have something better. I'm going after the better thing and you'll get it. All right. So just realize that uh, everything's happening for a reason for you. Wedding rings. Interesting. There could be an upcoming wedding for you come January. Some kind of union could be happening here. That's beautiful. The Battle of the Blues. Take steps towards positive change. All right, so... This tells me that something's going to upset you this year. I don't know what it is, but something's going to get you a little angry and then a little upset and hurt and, and you know, depressed, right? And they're saying, you know what? Battle through it. Fight through it because something much better is going to happen now because of whatever 
didn't work out for you. Whatever got you this emotional, there's a reason for it. It's teaching you something. Find the lesson. All right. So battle those blues. Don't, I'm not saying don't feel what you feel. Feel upset, feel hurt, feel angry, feel sad, feel depressed. Feel it. Then find the lesson. Find the lesson and work through it because something great is happening for you. Eight of air, eight of swords. The eight of swords is fear of your own making, but let's see what the book wants to tell you on that one. Because this, this tarot deck's a little, a little different. Eight of air. We are creatures driven by our egos. Our ego is in part our identity, the center of our consciousness. It is driven by our instincts and base desires. All right, so what, what, come on. It can also employ one of the several defense mechanisms to shield us from uncomfortable truths or reality that we are not willing or ready to accept. So many of us are afraid of the truth. We can be also afraid of the truth. Oh, we could be so afraid of the truth that our ego will work hard to do what it can to protect us. I'm having trouble reading this. Sorry. If your ego is wounded or we have been taught to fear well-being, the defense women, if we've been taught to fear, the defense mechanisms employed may also be Detrimental to good health, well-being, and to our relationships with others. Our need to feel safe, to feel good, to be right, to be better, to be needed, and to be loved can result in the reality being distorted. All right. So what, what, what are they trying to say here? This is what I need to know. Nobody likes to think poorly of themselves, and so our ego, ego acts to protect us by creating reasons and excuses to justify our actions. This is natural and normal behavior. If you do something that you consider, no, if that you consciously or unconsciously know to have potential harmful consequences, and you choose to ignore it or to believe that it won't manifest, then the A to air comes to caution you to think again. There is a price to be paid for all that you do, no matter your reasons or intentions. So maybe they're saying to control the anger a little bit. The Eight of Air is a very challenging card because it symbolizes the need to look at your beliefs and your behavior and question them. Are you hiding from an uncomfortable reality? It is time to take responsibility for your thoughts, actions, and consequences they give rise to and see them for what they really are. It's a time to be humble and to accept that you have made a mistake or chosen a path, path that has not served you well. Don't worry about losing faith, but face by admitting to your humanity. We all make mistakes. Take this opportunity to change your life. Embrace your personal power by learning from your mistakes so that you grow in wisdom and, and awareness. Be humble and accept the truth that your ego is not always honest and that you are not always right. The path to enlightenment is made up of our mistakes and the lessons learned from them along the way. Wisdom is earned, not bestowed. There you go. So basically what they're saying is you're learning a lesson this year. You're learning a lesson and your wisdom is going to be well earned. Okay, because come January, it's going to turn around for you. Your life is going to be completely different and it's going to be much happier and much brighter and and much more full of love it's a much happier time for you come january so we just have to get through this year and i'm not saying this year is going to be all you know gloom and doom and and things for you to be worried about i'm not saying that i'm just saying that if you, there are things that don't work out for you this year it's okay it's okay find the lessons okay find the lessons because Come January, things are going to be amazing. Things are going to be amazing. All right, let me pull you some charms.
All right, what do we got here? We've got sweep away the old, make room for the new. Okay, that makes sense, right? And if you are confused about things, if you can't see things clearly, don't worry about it. Just kind of go with the flow, kind of just do what feels right for you in the moment. The sun will come out and everything will be clear for you. You will understand and you will see things clearly. All right. Luck is on your side. It might not feel like it, but it is. So just explore what's going on with you. Explore your options. Explore your feelings. Explore your opportunities. Just explore the lessons. All right. Just figure things out. This is a learning year for you. The biggest growth comes from uncomfortableness and pain. So this is a growth experience for you. All right, so make the most of it. You know, do everything well. You know, if you're going to hurt well, you might as well hurt big. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if you're going to be angry, be, be really angry. Like, do a good job at it. Do a good job. And then do a good job of letting it go and forgiving and being, you know, amazing. Um, it's it's just it's just going to be one of those years. It's just going to be one of those years for you. And I'm not saying it, you have to like be upset or worried or scared. You don't. You're going to be able to handle whatever life throws at you. This is just a growth experience that you agreed to before you came here. Like this is something that you need to learn and you will. And then you will be rewarded for learning that lesson. You will have powerful growth. You will bloom and blossom and your life is going to be beautiful. There's a major transformation happening here. Growth, expansion. There you got the ruler. You're learning. All right. So just be brave here and have a thick skin you know, be a rhinoceros, but, uh, yeah, I think it's, a, it, I think it's a good thing. I think it's a really good thing. It, there's times where it might be uncomfortable, but I think it's a good thing for you. All right. I know you might not like this message and I apologize for that, but it's really it for your highest good. So anyway, if this is your message, if you claim it, <laughs> Um, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All of those things help, and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 4. If you chose Ruby and Zozite, then this one is your reading. Let's get your month here, which is June. So your higher self is coming to you this June, which is, what, three months away? Not long at all. It'll go by like that. The Fool, Three of Cups, The Hangman, Two of Swords, Four of Wands. Well, looks like June's going to be an interesting month for you. Looks like you've got some perspective. You, you're seeing things maybe a little differently. I feel like there's like, um, there's definitely growth here. Like, like you've learned something. Like you learned something about yourself or about somebody else here where you're just like, you know what? I'm ready to take a leap of faith. I'm, I'm ready to go start this new journey and to find my happiness. And I'm telling you, like, I don't have to hold myself back anymore because I see things clearly. I know the direction I want to go in. I'm going to make a choice to do what's right for me. I want to be happy and I'm going to do whatever it is that makes me happy. Forget what other people are going to think about it. It doesn't matter what other people think. It doesn't matter what I, the right, what society tells me is the right thing or the wrong thing. I'm just going to do what's right for me. What feels good for me. I'm ready to take this leap of faith. I'm ready to celebrate. I'm ready to be happy and I'm ready to make a commitment. Four of Wands is a commitment. Could be marriage. It's definitely a celebration of something. So you're celebrating with the Three of Cups and you're celebrating with the Four of Wands. There's a good, happy time coming in for you in June. And it might have been a little bit of a struggle to get there. 
You know, two of swords is a decision we're afraid to make. You know, it's like, just take off the blindfold. If you see things clearly, you can make your decision. So it, it's a decision you were afraid to make, but you're definitely getting clarity here with the hangman. You're seeing things from different perspectives now. And you're like, you know what? I just want to be happy. I'm going to take a leap of faith. And I think that's absolutely wonderful. I'm excited for you. Let's see what else comes out. Basket. Recognition, 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 sorry, can't speak today, and reward for merit. So, again, you're going to be rewarded in a good, positive way for taking your leap of faith. Then you got grasshopper, and it says situation in the balance that require careful handling. All right, so I feel like that's kind of important, and I don't know why, but I feel like the way you go about something is important. It's your delivery. So let's just give you an example of what I mean by that. And it might not have anything to do with this situation at all. But say you want to apologize but you, because you feel bad and you want to make things right between somebody. But you want them to admit they were wrong too. So you, you go to them, you apologize, but then you start placing blame. I did this because you made me do that. Mm, that's the wrong approach. That is the wrong approach. You got to handle it gracefully. If, if you're a going to apologize, then be humble about it. Look, I'm taking responsibility for my actions right now. I am very sorry if I hurt you. It is not your place to draw out a, uh, an apology from somebody else, right? If they want to apologize, if they're in a place to be able to apologize, they will do it on their own without, without being provoked by you. That's not the way to get an apology. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to have to handle whatever the situation is carefully. It's your approach. It's the way you handle it. There's a right way to handle it and there's a wrong way to handle it. So make sure you're thinking through things a little bit here, right? It's what the hangman's here for. See it clearly. Like, take a moment. Take a moment. Your sacrifice will pay off. I'm telling you, it will. You will be very happy. So if it's something that you have to apologize for, but yet you want an apology in return, just kind of like think about that. Think about the best way to make your apology. I'm telling you, you're going to get your apology in return if you don't force it. You will. So just handle things correctly. And, and this might not be about an apology. It could be about anything. I was just giving you the example about well, for this card. Okay, so you take it how it resonates for you. And let me get you some more. Believe and trust. Before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear and faith with trust. Oh, replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. So, again, this is saying, gather your courage. Take the leap. Do what needs to be done. You kind of already know now. You're seeing it clearly. And you want this celebration. You will get it if you handle it correctly. I think it'll be even more than you expect. Like, I think it'll exceed your expectations in, in the happiness realm. I think you will be so uh, overjoyed and even happier than you thought you would be by a response or an action that's going to happen. I don't know. I think you're in for a very happy time if you handle it correctly. Sappho, the poet, the poetess. I love every inch of my body and I love the women in my life fiercely. 
be in touch with your softer feminine side. I think that's what this is saying. I think it's saying you need a gentle touch. You need to approach this leap of faith with love, with gentleness, and, uh, you know, faith. But come at it in a very sweet and enduring, generous way. And you'll get the results that you want. Jump in. Andromeda energy. Adventure. Say yes to change. You're ready for the change. You're ready to take the sleep. You're ready to jump in. Right? Get your feet wet. You're ready for this. Let's do it. It's time for a change. You're going to laugh. You're going to smile. You're going to grin. There are things that are going to make you really, really happy. Once you let go of any hurt, anger, or bitterness, you got nothing left but to smile. But reasons to smile. To be happy. I think that's your goal. And come June, you're going to be ready for it. Hopefully it's sooner. Paradise. Yes. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, enjoying each other. I really do think that paradise is coming for you. I think you're about to take a leap of faith and you will find paradise once you do. You gotta, you just gotta start the journey though. That's the key. You gotta start the journey. You got to take the leap of faith. Gratitude. Be grateful for all that you have because you're going to have a lot to be grateful for. So if you're already grateful for the things that are good in your life, there'll be more things to be grateful for. Gratitude is something that snowballs. So uh, be grateful. Two of air, it looks like. Two of air. Let's read from the book. That would be two of swords, which is already here. So it's like making the decision. But these messages are a little different. So let's see what this one says. The two of air represents both duality and polarity. And the theory that everything in creation has an opposite. When you love something, you most probably also fear losing it. The fear might not be voiced or even acknowledged. It might even be denied. It is, however, still present. You would fight to protect that something because you love it, but you also fight because you fear losing it or seeing it harmed. Therefore, to love is to also fear, and to act from a place of love is also to act from a place of fear. You might choose to lose weight and exercise and say that you are doing so because you love yourself and so you deserve to have a healthy body. At the same time, it could be said that you choose to lose weight and exercise because you fear what may happen if you do not. The choice is motivated by both love and fear. Again, the same state simply viewed from two different perspectives. Seeing things from two different perspectives. There you go. That is polarity. With the duality principle, however, one force is always better than the other. Right and wrong, love and hate, light and dark, positive and negative. All illustrate extreme opposites when one is perceived to be good and the other is bad. And the primary goal is to do good over, to good, do good to triumph over, to overcome the bad. The two of air offers a choice between two paths. Mm -hmm. Here we go. You can choose a path of dictomony or one of integration. One offers conflict and the other offers peace. Which one are you going to choose? That's why it says, that's why this card came out, right? Careful handling. Are you going to choose conflict or are you going to choose peace? If you choose peace, I really do feel like you will be rewarded in a beautiful, wonderful way. Don't choose the path of conflict, but it's your decision. You have free will. Just because I'm telling you not to do it doesn't mean you have to follow my advice. This is just advice. 
And I'm telling you what I personally would do, but you don't have to agree with me. And that's okay. I'm okay with it. It's your life. It's your lessons. But if you choose the path of peace, I think PC will be great, greatly rewarded. There. It all makes sense. It all makes sense. I kind of love this reading. All right. Here you go. Got phone call. I mean, <laughs> you got the telephone. It's an old-fashioned flip phone, but that's communication. So do you have to, like, reach out to somebody? Uh, something about a house, a move, making a move. You don't have to be changing your living space, but maybe you're making some kind of move. Let go of the past. Let go of that anger and that bitterness. Let it, let it go. Let it go. This, you got, you got June here, but you also got May. So, um, they're inching it closer. <laughs> I think, uh, why wait? Start it now, right? This is your free will. You get to, you get to change things when you want to change things. But things are about to transform. There are things that are about to change. And look what you're doing. You're choosing the path, peace. That's the lotus flower. That's things that are in harmony. That's namaste. <laughs> you know, you got the guitar, so I don't know what that means. Maybe you got to write somebody a song or sing somebody a song or play a song for somebody. I don't know. But, um, or maybe just lyrics will, like, if you send somebody lyrics, they'll get it. I don't know. But there's uh, something to do with music here. And you also got the Easter egg, and I'm, I'm sitting here staring at it, trying to figure out what it means to me, but, because an Easter egg's usually like a clue, a hint. Easter's coming up, though. Easter's at the end of the month. It's like two weeks away. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe you need to drop a hint or something. I don't know. By Easter. I don't know. But that's what I have for you, Pile 4. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light.